So overnight, I've had a realization that before Pluto was in Capricorn, that it had to move through Sagittarius. So I did a little Googling and I learned that 1995 is when Pluto moved into Sagittarius. And so 1995 is when I turned 10. I was born in 85. So 1995 was my 10th birthday. So it was either 95 or 96 when I had the dream about seeing orbs. And then somehow within that time period is when I entered into my delusional state of mind. And so for me, Sagittarius is my eighth house and of course Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter and of course for me I have only one planet in Sagittarius and of course that is Uranus so now I'm thinking about my high school days from 95 to like 2008, that was my high school days. And so now I'm trying to, I'm just like, I guess Uranus is by itself. And so that's why I was able to be so delusional like that. And I'm realizing that I am definitely the Uranus half of Aquarius and not the Saturn part. And so it was uh, the last time Pluto moved through Aquarius back in the 1700s is when they discovered the planet known as Uranus. And so anyway, and I find it interesting that you know the la we ha now have Jupiter and Uranus together in Taurus, the same sign. So I'm having some interesting conversations with myself. So it was you know 2021 is when I got woke up abruptly out of my delusional state and so I had been in that state of delusion for several years and so of course the first thing when you wake up out of delusion the first thing is where am I at how did I get here and how did I end up, I'm all the way out here by myself, basically. So now, considering that Uranus is by itself in Sagittarius, you have Pluto and Sagittarius with Jupiter and Uranus. For me, I'm just like, this probably explains a lot. <laughs> Of course, I'm probably going to go back and look at the past movements of Uranus because in order to get to Taurus, you got to go through Aquarius, Pisces, and Aries. And so, I had Jupiter in Capricorn and Uranus in Sagittarius, and now both of them are in Taurus together. So... I was like, I'm definitely Aquarius, 
And I'm definitely the Uranus half of Aquarius. So, I'm very interested in seeing how the next 15 years are going to go with Pluto being in Aquarius with Saturn and Uranus <laughs> as the ruler. And so, I don't know... I can definitely tell that I've, I'm have i grounded, but still have a lot of energy. It's like my, my Aquarius is like, I'm very sensitive. I feel everything, but then as a part of me, I'm just like very closed off and reserved and not, feels like I'm not doing anything. So anyway, I think we're doing, I'm doing a lot of, retrospect right now so uranus is the only planet that is still in retrograde and will come out of retrograde on the 27th of january so have fun don't follow aquarius that's my number one advice to don't follow aquarius because aquarius can go rogue at any time. And so you may end up lost. If you follow Aquarius, you'll probably end up lost. Unless you're one of those people who know how to get lost yourself. So anyway, have a good day. <laughs>